Now we want to welcome to the Jimmy Star Show with Ron Russell, the incredibly talented and gorgeous Suzanne Stokes. Hello and welcome to the show. Hi. What's going me, on, guys? <laughs> let me Thanks introduce for having you. me. I'm going to introduce you, starting off with my cool, outrageous man about town co-host, Mr. Ron Russell. If you marry me, I promise I will never go to bed with a man again. <laughs> and I will be faithful to you forever. <laughs> because hey, you, you I can like make... it. Let's get married. You could turn a gay here. man. You could turn a gay man straight. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Look at you, you're so ugly yeah. and fat. Yeah, right. Take me to the chapel, and, baby. And flat chested. She said, "Take me to the chapel, baby." Oh, look at her. <laughs> are you the girl? Are you the girl we're interviewing? That's in Playboy magazine. Uh, yes. Oh my God! What issue? It was. I uh, was in February. And, and February did, 2000. And did you show? You don't wait, look like. On. Did you show all? Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> every, every, all you horny guys out there, go, go get bro. February Back 2000. <laughs> Churchill, <laughs> Churchill's going to be on the head of the line. <laughs> Actually, yeah. say hi. Ch Churchill's in the chat room. Say hi to Churchill. Hi, Churchill. Yeah. Churchill, don't you think she should be in one oh, of his yeah. movies? He's, he might be putting her in one, maybe. Yeah, put her in a movie that I'm in. I want to be in the same movie. <laughs> anyway, we have... Wait, we, wait, I want to play, gotta, gotta wanna play her father, who, who was a pedophile. Yeah, right. <laughs> That's terrible. All right, so, so uh, Suzanne, we got to say hi to our man behind the boards, Mr. Chad Murphy. Hello, Suzanne, the one and only Suzanne Stokes. Welcome. Hello, how are you? Doing good. Now, chat, I see your face. Chat, chat. Nope. Yeah, and then we got a chat room full of people, so <laughs> say hi to everybody in the chat room. And literally, we have like every country represented, so say hey to everybody in the chat room. Hello, guys. There you how go. You? you gotta like love it. Now, Chad, the truth. Do you have eye strain? <laughs> she's, she's getting my eyes a little bit. Yeah, she's a beaut. She's a beaut. <laughs> Is she not gorgeous? So she's, first of all, wait, she's prettier than a Barbie doll. Barbie doll should look as good as her. I don't even understand how you could have been in Playboy in 2000, which was 18 years ago, and you I don't know. look like you're over 18 now. So oh, wow. good skin. That's good. Yeah, That's awesome. you gotta like love it. I love it. Where Where are you from? I hear an accent somewhere. I'm from the Everglades, Florida, South Florida, like near Miami, Naples. There's an accent there. Small town. <laughs> You know, I'm actually, because I'm from Florida, I grew up in West Palm Beach. I was born in Miami. Oh. I grew up in West Palm Beach. I went to high school in, in Jacksonville and college in Gainesville. And when I was young, I played tennis, and my tennis doubles partner lived in the Everglades in Cluiston. Oh, really? And, and I would spend all summer, like, in Cluiston, and we would travel Jimmy, all Jimmy, over. Jimmy, Jimmy, nobody wants to hear that. Yes, they do. They all <laughs> want to hear her. They're not interested in you and your tennis partner and the fact that you I know, but I'm from the same place that she's from. In the fucking Everglades? So no. Listen, let's hear about you, sweetheart. Guy, who's in your life? Any man, woman, anybody? Oh, uh, well, you know. No, uh, nobody. I'm kind of just working on myself right now. I think more so than anything. Um, what kind of yeah. guy do you what kind of guy do you like? Like six foot, gray hair, older? Oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Big bang, big bank book. <laughs> big Wait, bank where are you calling from? Where are we actually talking? Are you in LA? I'm in LA. Mm -hmm. Okay, I love it. Hollywood. <laughs> There you go. So yeah. let me tell you. Every, let me tell everybody who's like listening a little bit about you. So you were Miss Miss Hawaiian Tropic U.S. in 1999. Then you were oh. Miss Photogenic at the international final of Miss Hawaiian Tropic, which I'm sure helped get the Playboy uh, thing going. You've been yeah. featured on the cover of Dub Magazine. You've been in Maxim, FHM, People, Skinny Mag, Muscle and Fitness, Muscle Mag, uh, W, <laughs> yeah. Miami Men's Magazine, and now. You are kind of like turning into an actress, and you got a bunch of films you just recently working on. And you're on the Jimmy Star show. And now you're on the Jimmy Star show with Ron Russell. That really makes you a superstar. Yes, absolutely. We love it. Now listen to me, darling. You're so beautiful. You're going to be misunderstood because the 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 visible is so blinding. Are you really an actress? Are you good? Are you just bullshit? Well, I guess that's for you to find out. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I would like to be good. I don't know. I, yet. I mean, let's face it. You're limited. You can't play a nun. You can't play somebody's <laughs> mother. You can't play. You can't play a secretary. You cannot play a sales girl at Macy's. Yes, she could. No, she can't because it doesn't go. I, I mean, can play no naughty secretary. Did you? <laughs> did you, did you, did you, did you 
Did you ever see yeah. that? That was fantastic. Right. Did you ever see a, <laughs> any salesgirl in any of the department stores that looked like this? I wish I would have. I, I would have been shopping so. there every day. They're usually old ladies. I could with, tone it down. So <laughs> what? They're old ladies with piano legs, you know, and in, in, in sensible shoes. They're not like you. So you, you're limited to playing the bad girl, the girl who takes the husband away from the wife, the other woman, the kept woman. No, she's playing a spy in the movie she's in now. <laughs> Oh, come on. She's too obvious to be No, a spy. she's not. Look she at her. She could never sneak around places as a spy. <laughs> yeah, like, like James Bond is like the good-looking spy. She's like the good-looking right. female even, spy. Even if you put her in a black turtleneck jumpsuit, she still can't get around town. <laughs> I mean, number one, if she has to squeeze between two buildings to go up a staircase or a ladder, she ain't going to squeeze through with those things. They're going to get caught. Wait, wait. She plays. What do you play? You play a spy in Justice for All, right? Right, yes. Mm-hmm. I love it. I love it. So also, you. I have another story, and I don't care if Ron doesn't think people like it or not. So you're in a Benny Benassi video. Uh, yes. Um, so when I was in, oh, here we go. More Jimmy when Star. I was when I was in Miami at the Dance Star USA Awards, Benny Benassi <laughs> won an award, and at the end of the awards, I walked the red carpet with him, and at the end of the oh. awards show. He didn't have a ride. He was standing on a street corner holding this big three-foot award that he won, and he was standing there. And so Ozzy and I, my friend Ozzy, who you might even know in L.A. in Hollywood, we picked him up and drove him to his hotel and, like, hung out with him. But, like, he's a superstar, you know. He's such a big thing. So I was so excited when I saw that you were in his video. Don't do that. I don't do that when you do stupid shit. Oh, excuse me. That's not nice. It was the Playboy version of it. (laughs) That's okay. That's okay if it's the Playboy version of it. That's fine. Right. Um, yeah. You gotta like it any way you can get it because you were in yeah, Playboy. And look at all, a lot of the films you were in. You have a, a, mo- a film called The Sex Trip, and another another one called uh, Dead Sexy, where a, a paranormal force makes makes the girl leads not need the opposite sex. I mean, a lot of things that you're in, like kind of like has that whole sex thing going on. I... Well, look, look at it. What, what do you when yes. you look at it? What do you think of Chop Liver? I mean, you look at. <laughs> Girl, what do you think of? I'm gay and I know what I think of. Straight guys right now are wackadoo, 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 do, do. <laughs> and the gay women out there are plugging their vibrators in, screaming from you. Ooh. So she is a sexy woman. You <sighs> represent every fantasy of every human being. Men want to make love to you and women want to make love to you. Let's cut the shit. She's not exactly like a, a prudish looking broad. She represents. I bet she is, though, because probably, always the really hot ones yeah, are kind of yeah, prude. They're the ones that are the, they're the cull fish. They're the ones that you get into bed and they say, oh, I don't do that. No, I don't do this. Oh, I don't oh, do that. No, I don't, I don't like that. <laughs> she said that's not her. I hope so. <laughs> so, wait. I think it all. Who, who's someone, well, yeah. who's someone well, in Hollywood like? Who's your kind of like. Wait, Churchill. Churchill. Call an ambulance for Churchill. He passed out. Oh. <laughs> when he, when he heard she does it all. She wants it all. Churchill's killing himself. No. So, so tell us, like, who is like, who is somebody in Hollywood that people like would know who are that you're like, oh my god, this is somebody who I think is super sexy. Hmm. Like, if you were gonna go on a date, if you had got to pick, and you were gonna go on a date with any male or any female or a male and female, who would you want to go out with on a date? It doesn't mean you have to have sex with them, but but you know, who do you think is like super hot that you think would be so great to like go She's out so with? So beautiful. Can't stop looking at her. Oh my god! Guy from South Africa, you forgot. Guy who? What's his name? I don't even know. The guy from Sons of Anarchy? Is that what you said? I mean, I don't know. It's some, I think he's sexy. But there's some other people out there too that are sexy too. <laughs> now, most people think girls like you are stupid. What's your educational background, and how smart are you? Jane Mansfield, who, if you know who she is, Marissa Haggerty's mother. Haggerty. Uh, Haggerty uh, was a sex symbol. Jane Mansfield was like a Marilyn Monroe platinum blonde with gigantic real boobies. And right. they used to think she was stupid. Well, she had an IQ of like a professor. She was the most intelligent woman in the world. She just played stupid for movies. Do you play stupid for film, or are you really a genius? I'm not genius, maybe, but I definitely am smart for sure. <laughs> I mean, if, if a guy is getting, smart enough to know not to say anything, if a guy, <laughs> smart enough not to say anything, that's good. If a guy says to you, "You be good to me, I'll be good to you," you're smart enough to say what? I'm smart enough to not say anything and then just go with it, you know, and then actually, yeah, let it play out because then, yeah, trust me. I know how to do it. So, so now, now, are you are you sexually free? 
In other words, if a beautiful woman wanted to caress and make love to you, is that okay or just men? Um, I wouldn't want like a relationship with a woman like that, but I would like I me. Mean, I would kiss them probably, you know. So, so in other words, you would you'd appreciate <laughs> the beauty of another woman with you. I mean, that could be fine, I guess. Well, yeah. that, could, that gets men crazy, so say yes. Yes. <laughs> I mean, every man has, every man would have a dream of you and Pamela Anderson making it together. <laughs> Right. Uh, by the way, you look like Angie Dickinson. Do you know who Angie yeah. Dickinson was? Famous movie star Young of the Angie. 1950s. Okay. Gorgeous, beautiful woman with the best legs in the world. Is that the, the one world. from Police Story? Lady? Yes, okay. yes. And she had the best legs in the world. Nobody had legs like Angie Dickinson. Nice. Ron, Ron is Ron is kind of a an expert on all the like Turner Classic movies and all the like films of like the 40s and 50s and 30s, 40s, 50s and 60s basically, and right. uh, so he has a lot of references to like the Marilyn Marilyn Monroe and all those kind of people because he knew a whole bunch of them and, and he's Jane friends Russell, with them all. They were all my friends. I love Marilyn Monroe. They were super legendary stars, right. and you know we go to all these red carpets and I see all these girls they had sexy with boobs hanging out and clit covers you know skirts. And they think they're gonna—they they think they're gonna go somewhere. The only place they go is to bed with the jerks that promised them the moon. Now I know that you have a look about you that is sexy but stylish. You don't look like a cheesy sleazy slut from Third Avenue on the corner. <laughs> Most of these girls that go to these red carpets look like two-bit hookers, and they right. behave that way, and they're vulgar that way. Right. And I just think it's appalling. You, I would love to see you in a classic evening gown of chiffon draped uh, gently over your bosoms with your hair piled up soft and gentle i think you could be an angel from heaven more right. than a, a a porno queen i love it i like that look too i have oh, lots I, of different looks yeah, oh, i believe that work, work for that that'll get you in films quicker okay. than this because you know men today is so used to exposed women it doesn't work anymore for them now right. if a naked women don't happen, but if a woman is stylishly dressed, mm. men, men go crazy. They want it off. They get that thing off. I want to see you, and that yeah. torments the mind. I right. think so. Less like, is less is better. I think people are going crazy though right now. We had uh, we had. Well, she's breathtaking. It seems Look like at her. we've she's had like expensive. three or four weeks in a row of just drop dead the most gorgeous women. Yeah, and actually, but... we had a man, Daniel DeCrisio, on a couple weeks ago who had long blonde hair like you do, and he was drop dead gorgeous. <laughs> women. So we've had like about a month of like the most gorgeous people that you could ever see coming on the show. So nice. probably everybody in the chat room is just like, where do you keep it? Every week you you want it up one more gorgeous person. <laughs> Lots of gorgeous people in the world. Especially now, where you live. Now, what yes. what's going on in politics today is outrageous about all these men who supposedly were assaulting these women over uh, the years. In my day, a girl like you walked into a room. There was no way that half of the guys weren't going to hit on her. <laughs> there was no way that half of the guys in the corner wouldn't talk about what they'd love to do to you. And it right. was called man talk. Yes, I, <laughs> they had no right to touch. But right. have you ever been touched inappropriately? You had to smack somebody? Do I not? Sorry. Have you ever, he wanted to know if you've ever been touched inappropriately Ow. where you had to smack somebody. Anybody grab you by your tits is what I'm saying. <laughs> um, not really. I mean, sometimes, yes, actually have been uh, a couple times. Some guys just come up and kiss you at the club. It's like ridiculous. You guys just and, and you don't even know who they are. Yeah, so then, you don't know who they are. They just come and start kissing you. <laughs> ridiculous. <laughs> If you ever do like Donald Trump, grab them by the grab you by your snatch or grab your ass or grab your boob. Right. No, no, no. Yeah, so they're more respectful. Once I grabbed down there one time. We went to, uh, to the Cannes Film Festival a long time ago with um Alain Chabot, and he's like this famous French actor. And uh they were getting mobbed by all these fans and stuff and literally they kinda of, like they grabbed me like right there. <laughs> Not very nice, let me tell you. But well, whatever. It was, it was really fun, though. Well, so, some people feel that you're selling it and that they're entitled to grab it. Because, ah. in other words, if you wore a turtleneck long sleeve shirt, you wouldn't be broadcasting like, I'm sexy, t I'm turning you on. But right. I think that's stupid because you have a freedom to be whomever you choose to be. Exactly. Without worrying about the other people, what they think. A person as beautiful as you are is such a gift and a joy to look at. I look at you as a piece of art, also a piece of ass, but mostly a piece of art. 
You're sweet. I like no, you. No, you're no, you're beautiful. I'm, I listen. I, I everybody out there is agreeing. You have beautiful teeth, beautiful nose. Your your eyes are beautiful. Your shape of your, your face. Your smile is, is fabulous. And, like, you're, wow. and you're like a little girl. You're very girlish. You're very much like we want to cuddle you and you know, <laughs> buy you fur coats and jewelry and put you in a beautiful penthouse apartment in Manhattan and take hey. you all over the world in a private jet. Ooh. Uh, you know, I would like to find that guy for myself. Fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> absolutely. Take us all on the trip. They could take us all on the trip. Works absolutely. <laughs> find me that guy. I'll divorce Jimmy in a minute. No, he Jimmy won't. Jimmy and I are legally married, by the way. We're gay. I hope you know that. Yes. You didn't think that you had two filthy perverts, old men, <laughs> I love, I love jumping you all over you. I love it. We're happily married. I love my Jimmy, even though he doesn't have a jet. Chur Churchill says it doesn't matter what you wear. You look stunning in everything. And now Dave Hughes. We want to welcome Dave Hughes from Stars Now UK, hey. who's one of the really cool oh, the older gentlemen who like comes oh, on no. and drools over everybody. So, Dave, take this a look. One is this so is Suzanne Stokes, and you guys, she's on Twitter, and you can follow her, and you're going to love this Twitter name, everybody. Dave, her, her, wait, wait. Her Twitter name is SS Meow, so, so you guys follow at SSMEOW, which which I think is the coolest thing ever. I love your Twitter. <laughs> I guarantee you Dave's blood pressure is so up that he's dizzy. Dave, are you having like a stroke from this one? Dave would kill for you. He, and he's married. And he lives in England and he comes in from England every week because we always have beautiful women on. But Dave, this week we got a super special beautiful one. This one's really a, a super duper 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 special one. He says his fucking, he says his fucking eyes popped out. See? <laughs> So now his fucking eyes Which he said Fukin. He said Fukin because Fookin. he doesn't want to say a bad word, but well, since we can say a bad word. What, so, they don't curse in England? They so got let's filthy talk. mouths in England. Everybody curses in England. So so let's say, because now you're an now you're actress and you do, you have some pretty fun credits. You were in Mortal Kombat. You have the new film for Justice for All. You have four films of horror, Dead Sexy. You were on an episode of Frasier, The Sex Trip, Frostbite. Wow. Frostbite yeah. with Peter Jason, who was on our show, and... um. Uh, and I love, um, and I've met Jamie Presley actually, and she was in Mortal Kombat when you were in Mortal Kombat. So you, you're, you're starting to get some really cool credits. What would you like to be? Do you want to be like an action? You want to be in action films, romance, or do you not care? Everything. I care. I mean, I want to do. I want to just do lots everything. of different things. Yeah. You know? Right. I want to everything. try different uh, roles and then like maybe play like a mean girl, bitch, or I want to play, you know, a spy. Can, can you play. do bitch good? I bet you can do bitch good. I'm never. I don't really a bitch ever. So, but I. I'm working on that one. You know, you know what I wish? I do actually. Good. I just got this. I did this audition video, and um, I was being a pretty much a big bitch. <laughs> there you go. Do you, do you remember years ago the film Ten with Bo Derek? Ten, where she comes oh. out of the water with the hair and all the shells. Oh yes, yes, yes. Okay, I'd like to remake that movie with you, Ooh. but have you come out of the ocean totally naked? All with right. The, with the sun reflecting off the water on your nipples and all over your buns, oh, then you, that's very beautiful. It's art, by the way. It's not dirty sex. It's yeah. art. Because you would be like the sea goddess coming out of the ocean. And that's how I, I'd like to see you. Dave just dropped dead in Churchill's in, 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 in a coma. No, they're saying in the, they're saying in the chat, in the chat room, they, they're saying that they want to see you as a killer in a horror movie because nobody ever puts the really hot girl as the killer. I can <laughs> No, I see her as a goddess. I like that. No, no. I see her as a goddess. But that way she can be at a stereotype because everybody's going to cast her like no, that. No, no. I would also like to see her in a 1940 film that Ava Gardner did. It was called One Touch of Venus, where she played Venus de Milo, the statue that came to life and okay. brought love to everybody. I could see you standing there in the white gown looking like Venus de Milo, the goddess of love. I, I see you as I see you as a goddess. I don't see you. as You a, could have been though, like in the remake of Point Break too. No, she's a goddess type. This one is like you got to. Like, do you sing. surf? Do you know how to surf? No, but I'm sure I could learn how to do it really quick. Yes. Oh. Very fast. <laughs> but as long as it's not too cold, you know. Yes, <laughs> as long as it's not. Well, it's cold is good because then your nipples get hard. Ooh, that is my, true. My 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 nipples get true. hard. My I have little nipples, but they get hard in cold water. <laughs> Yeah, and then Jimmy swims across quickly to grab them, and then they disappear. <laughs> <laughs> they go back in my chest. <laughs> Churchill oh, well. said, "Churchill says she's going to be working with him on a few projects. I hope that we're in those projects too. So that way, that we movie. get to meet you Church personally." Churchill, I'm coming on the set, even if I'm not in the film. You fuck. You better put me <laughs> in the film. <laughs> and, yes. and and they're saying that you look like a mermaid, and that you would make a great yeah, mermaid. She's just got a classic. Oh, if they redid Splash. Was that the movie? Splash with uh, Daryl Hannah. That would you be a good one. You could be the mermaid. 
like I'm that. telling you, there's a million lovely goddessy type images that you are. You're not porno pig. I would love, though, to see you as a killer in a horror movie because I like horror no, movies, so I think that would be fun. What is she going to kill you with her tits? I mean, come no, on, look with at a her. knife or something. Nice. <laughs> Who wants to get killed? Watch, do that again. See, she holds the knife up. She could, like, do it. She could totally I do it. it. No, fine. no, no I could see if she smothered somebody to death between her cleavage. That might work. <laughs> but absolutely no knife stabbing. She's going to get blood on that gorgeous face and that hair. Get out of here. Yes. No, that, she needs to be out of character and out no, of stereotype. she's too beautiful to be a killer. No. She's a goddess. She's somebody that men adore. She's got to play like the, the, the most Medusa. Beautiful, like a Marilyn Monroe type. You know, she's like everyone adored Marilyn. Marilyn never stabbed anybody. <laughs> they didn't right? have horror movies that did that back They then. did have horror movies. They all do like, though, Mermaid. Everybody likes the idea of a Absolutely. mermaid. Absolutely. This girl's got to be cast correctly. I wish I was a director. I would tell her what her. she should do and not. I mean, really, she should definitely play. She. Ha you know what I like about her? She's the girl that you're afraid to touch. And that's what's good. She's the stay away girl. I'm beautiful, I'm gorgeous, I'm sexy, but don't you come near me. And that's what she can sell. And that's what a goddess is. A goddess is something you admire, but you don't touch. They all think she should be in a sci-fi or a horror movie, so they all. Love no, it. I think she should be in a. Love so what movie. about that? So like, let, let, let me ask a question because I'm. Uh, you and Ron are both kind of in the same category where you get, probably have been hit on and told how beautiful you are all your lives. So because because Ron always it doesn't matter where we go, people hit on him. And, and, and I'm, I'm 78 years old now. You had to see me when I was young. I was you, like you. I, I was a piece I, of ass. You at, are at, amazing. Hot hot well, hot. So let me ask at you. 18, let's say, you had to see me at 18. If you go Ooh, out, when you go out, that. are men afraid to approach you because you're so beautiful, or do they approach you, or are they just so intimidated by your beauty that they will not come up to you? Um, just depends, really. I guess. I mean, just depends. No, I only mean, sometimes they come up to you, but then sometimes they are kind of afraid of you. I think I don't know what they are, why they're afraid of you, but absolutely. I'm, I'm actually a really nice person. So my yeah. girlfriend actually get mad at me because I'm too nice to them. No, Here's whatever. what I used to get. This is what, when I was 18 years old, they were afraid to pick me up also. I'd go to a bar, a gay bar, yeah. <clears throat> and a guy would walk by. I'd know he'd look at me, blah, 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 but he never would talk to me. Then finally, when he came over and spoke to me, after a while, he'd say, you know what? You're really nice. Right. I thought you were stuck up. Fuck you. <laughs> I'm not stuck up, stuck up, but I'm not a bar slut either. You know, I'm not a bar rag. What do you think? You're going to walk right. in and bring me home? I mean, that doesn't play. <laughs> right? Good looking That's people don't need to do sorry. that shit. The ugly ones go home with anybody because it's like payday for them. Exactly. Totally. So we, we beautiful but you guys people. get to be, you guys can be choosy. Well, yeah, I chose you. <laughs> oh, I love it. Yes, it's so much fun. So, so, so if you could have been in any movie that's ever been made and you could have been the lead person in it, who would you, what movie would you have liked to have been in is the first part of the question. And the second part of the question is, who would you like to be your leading man in something? Like, who would be the actor, the one actor that you think would be the greatest person ever to get to act with? Oh, boy. Mm, this question. Um, there's so many movies that there are love, so I don't know which one would be the best one, you know? Well, just pick any one that you like a yeah. lot. Be like, I'd like to be in this one. I liked Gentlemen Before Blondes. That was a great movie. I love that movie. I like Titanic, you know, but I don't know if I would play that part necessarily. Maybe, but no, why not? Um, Gentlemen Prefer Blondes is a good one. He likes that one. Of course, my buddy Jane Russell. Who was, remember Jane Russell in that movie, The Brunette? Yes. She was my dearest friend for many years, my buddy, my, my hangout pal, and I loved her to pieces. Now, you know who else you look like? Brigitte Bardot, the French oh, yeah. actress. You know who Brigitte Bardot is? I think so. Bridget Bardot, if you say it like well, a, I, I mean, <laughs> if, you, if you say it the way the American people pronounce it, she'll know no, who it you is. you have to say it French <laughs> because it, when you say it in French, it's sexy. When you say it in American, it sounds Bridget. It sounds Irish. But when you do it French, Bridget Bardot. Ooh, like Bardot. It's like, oh, give it to me, baby. You know. <laughs> Suzanne, I just want to tell you that Dave, the one died, who said you were died. so so hot, just wrote down that his eyes are rolling around on the floor and he can't seem to get them to put him back in. <laughs> and, he also can, and he also can't get to put his penis back in his pants either. <laughs> they said that he would be good, that you that they think you'd be good in the millionaire movie with Marilyn Monroe. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah, yeah, that's absolutely. A good one. That would be a nice. Pe I would go see you in that, I'd, and okay. I would enjoy you in that because that's a great part to play. Thank you. Play, playing Loco, that was the character. She was wonderful. Great. Yes, I love that. I love that movie. It's amazing. 
You gotta like love it. So so people can follow you on Twitter at, at SS Meow and are you on are you uh, do you have like a website or anything that we should send people to to find out more about you? Well, I need to update my website really badly, but um my friend just did a music video and it's gonna be coming out like next week, so you can see me in that. Which is there next you go. What, what what's the music video? It's called Drive, it's Matthew Paul's video and I'll be in that. So and I'm also going to be in New York on October twenty sixth. For this promotion, um, so they can come see me there maybe if they want to. And what's the promotion? What's the promotion for? Um, it's for a nightclub club promotion, like a Halloween party, I think. Oh, um, good. Well, we we, we we have we have to connect you. We have. To... Oh, where was it? it's called? Um, oh shoot, I didn't write it down. I guess. Well. Oh, well, in New York. <laughs> but you'll post it on Twitter. Post it on Twitter, and then everybody yeah, can yeah. follow you on Twitter, and they can know how to do it. So everybody follow when, her on Twitter at SS Meow. And when you're in New York, Jimmy's going to give you a number of Eileen Shapiro. Call her and say oh. that you should be interviewed by Eileen Shapiro. She writes for some of the greatest magazines okay. and Thank publications you. out there. And, uh, oh. and you might want to get to know Jimmy better. Yes, Jimmy's absolutely. Gonna, well, Jimmy's the number one PR person in the country. He won the award as number one. And if anybody can do it, it's Jimmy. He can get Absolutely. you out there and all over. Now, Churchill, what are you going to cast her in your movie as? And don't He's say, not going to tell you that. He's still working on it. <laughs> no, them all. it's a joke. Shut up, Jimmy. Don't answer for people. You have a terrible <laughs> habit of answering for people. Churchill's a very intelligent man who's very horny right now. And I want to know exactly, exactly how he's going to cast her. And don't say as your wife, Churchill. <laughs> Anyway, because we got to go. So here's what we're going to do. Everybody, we want everybody to follow Suzanne Stokes on Twitter, at SS Meow. Check out all the great stuff on IMDb. She's got a new film that will be coming out, Justice for All. Uh, we want to thank you for coming on the show. We think you're gorgeous and beautiful, and everybody like loves you. And tell now what I forgot your friend's name. What was your friend's name again? Which one? The Crystal? one who's sitting there. Yeah, Crystal. Crystal. Crystal, yeah. Bye, Crystal. Thank bye. you. She says and, bye. And, and you, my beauty, I'll be seeing you on the set. We'll be in the Absolutely. same movie. So we'll be good friends and have fun. You will. I love bye. you. Bye. Thanks, bye, Suzanne. Bye, bye, See ya. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Yay. Girl.